All right. I'm going to call him in there right now. It's time to get this stream started, bro. It's his birthday. You guys got to go crazy, all right? It's my pops' it's birthday. It's going to be a chill stream, though. We'll do some TTS, though. Delve, you haven't even seen. Bro, chill out, bro. Right, let me call him up. Let me call him up. My computer is so laggy. Is my stream lagging, chat? Facts, 8 and 8 fall off. Lag, no lag. Hey, anyone talk about falling off? Try pulling 10 viewers on Twitch. L son. <laughs> you rejected me. Oh, you're a little... Uh, random. Bro, chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Hey, calm the fuck down, man. Calm the fuck down, man. Calm the fuck down, man. Bro, let me tell you guys something right now, bro. We can talk about it a little bit before he gets in here. You said, you said I'll be right in. All right, cool. We got My dad's coming in right now. So before he comes in... Bro, I've been nonstop traveling, bro. Like, I'm so exhausted, bro. Like, I'm literally, I've been tired 24-7 just fucking doing hella shit, bro. Like, he said, okay, I'm coming in. FaZe Rug says he wants to fight you. We are fighting, bro. Come on now. Someone said Pammy's getting smashed by Aiden's dad. You guys are so weird. Uh, what's your name on your phone for him? It's dad with a blue heart. He's coming in. Gamble. I'm not gambling, bro. I, I, I purposely am not doing gambling that much. You know what I mean? Purposely went to do... I'm doing this Cabo shit, so... But, uh, but nah, bro. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a chill, it's gonna be a chill stream. Uh, that shit's boring. That's why I don't do Gamma that much. I know a lot of you guys don't like it. But, the good news is, wait, why are you guys saying Crip Father? Crip Dad? Wait, why? Wait, why? I don't get it. Why Crip Dad? Bro, it doesn't matter if he's a blue heart, you idiots, bro. That, that doesn't mean shit. W Crip, W Crip. Not gambling is fun to watch. Gambling so boring. Chat, is gambling a W or L, be honest? Can you guys not spam Crip, dad? When he walks in, he's gonna be like, what the fuck? He's literally gonna be like, what the fuck? Crip, dad, blue heart. See, gambling is mixed. The good news is next time I go to Cabo, I'm bringing Blue and Zia's in. That's going to be fun. But, uh, guys, you guys got to understand, you know, at this point, I'm going to be only be gambling a few times a month. Um, I just really want to get back home and just get this shit all set up. I want to game, bro. Like, I literally want to just play scary games once a week. I want to just do whatever the fuck I want to do. I really don't care about viewers anymore. I'm kind of glad, like, you know, I could just sit here with a fucking blurry face cam and pull 50 Calvin Odie. Like, I don't really care about viewers anymore because it's like, I just want people who are going to fuck with me doing anything or are going to fuck with me doing anything. You know what I mean? So, anyone talking shit, fell off, Aiden, what happened to your viewers? Twitch viewers are down, by the way. Uh, I think XQ's pulling like 80K. That motherfucker used to pull like 140. Twitch viewers are down, but again, guys, I'm not paying attention to viewers. I'm going to have fun playing what I want to play. And that's what everyone should be. For anyone that ever talks shit about somebody, just understand that it's your fucking, stay in your lane, bro. Right? 50,000 people saw a lot. I don't care if I decline. You know why? Because I'm happy right now. So, oh, here I'm at. I hear my dad. I hear my dad. Here we go. He's going to sit in the bed with me. He's going to be in the bed with me. Am I weird? I miss this room. I miss the Miami, bro. I miss the Miami life. Keep me alive. Aiden is changing a message with the opposite. I'm going back to my roots. 
once I get back to LA, I bought this crazy ass laptop too. I got a sick laptop, bro. I got like a, uh, I got an insane laptop, bro. I got like a crazy ass laptop. So when I go travel and shit, I can just bring it and I can just game on it too. So it's gonna be fire, actually. Um, but yeah. And you're streaming on a Mac. Bro, because I just got the laptop. I didn't want to set everything up and then go live at 11.30 p.m. You know what I mean? It's already 8 o'clock on the West Coast. What time is it for all you motherfuckers in the chat? Why are you fighting Rug? Because it's a good practice for the person I'm actually fighting in uh, next year. And you're, you're streaming on a Mac. Bro, shut up, bro. I get it. I understand. There we go. Gay son and Crypt Dad. Hey guys, don't spam Crypt Dad. Do not spam Crypt Dad. I'm for real. He's gonna be like, what the fuck does that mean? Don't do that. For real, guys. Don't, don't spam that shit. Do not spam Crypt Dad. For real. Savali, they sort of five gifted motherfucker. Cheezer, yeah. Cheezer, remember your dad? Cheezer's a hot dad. L daughter. I'm not even a girl, you weirdo. You're mad weird? I'm not weird. I just don't care what people think about me. A lot of you guys do some really weird shit. A lot of you guys put your fingers in your assholes and smell it. A lot of you guys fucking do really weird shit, bro. You'll scratch your balls and smell it. Like, you guys all do weird shit, too. And it's just not on camera. Like, I'm just here to... I'm living proof that you guys can just do weird shit on camera and doesn't... Basically, I'm just here to teach you that you, you should never care about what anybody thinks. Do you think I give a fuck? Do you think I really care? I'll literally... Anyways, how you guys feel? Fifty-seven thousand people watching me put a foot in my mouth. Beat your meat. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, son. I'm streaming right now. Come on in. What are we doing here? Twenty-one. We're just gonna talk to the people. Just. First of all, I want to spam happy birthday, Dad, bro, in the chat, man. It's your birthday. What's up, guys? Where's your watch? What do you think it is? Oh, shit. Yeah, he got a watch for his birthday. I got him a Rolex. So, you know, I already told you your next birthday is going to be crazy. I'm going to get you something even more crazy. So Crazier than a flying car? Well, maybe. if, that, if it ex Wait, do flying cars exist right now? They do exist. I, I was a test pilot for one for a while. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. My friend who built that big building in Miami. Oh, you're right. They had the, they had the, 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 fly the right. landing pad. Yeah. But they're very expensive. But I think next year, the same time around my birthday next year, they're going to come down way in price. Probably about two point five million, which is great though, because we could be going along the highway, right? Hit tons of traffic. I say, son, push that button over there. You push the button. The wings come out. <laughs> and we just take off. What do you think? I mean, it's shit. I mean, I, I hope I hope I can afford it by then. Yeah, we'll have to well, wait and see. I'll help you afford it, and uh, you know, we'll give rides <laughs> to special people. <laughs> so. Um, this is cool. I've never really had you on my stream before. No, this is new for me. But we'll talk about everything. I mean, I, I, I praise this a lot, as you guys know. Like, this is the only person who, like, truly believed in me from the beginning. I remember you got me the high-speed internet. You always bought me the new game. You always let me stay home from school. When the new game came out, you just always believed in my shit for video games. Always. Like, you always just, like, it's just crazy. You always just believed in me. How, why? How? Like, usually, like, every other parent would just call you crazy. Why did you kind of believe in me? From I mean, I had my moments of like doubt, which were just like, you know, very fleeting. But the way you spoke about it was as if you read a book and you were telling me all about the book you read. That is how you described your future in streaming to me. And so it just struck me as what choice did I have but to, you know, but to support you yeah. in doing that. I really didn't feel I had any choice. And, uh, Draw me a little crazy at the beginning with the yelling and the screaming and the neighbors I had to fight with. <laughs> um, I, didn't, I didn't tell you half the stories of the, some of the fights I got into in the neighborhood. What happened? Uh, just from the yelling and the, you know, the whole house would shake sometimes and the windows would shake and 
I don't think you had very good windows on that list. No, I didn't. They were unscrewed and like. Yeah. So, you know, my neighbors th threatened to call the cops a lot. One time I had, I had to deal with the sheriff one time. I thought I was beating my wife. And I said, absolutely not. That sound is not the sound of a man <laughs> beating his wife. That is the sound of a happy, young 16-year-old boy who's streaming. That's crazy. <clears throat> I didn't know you had I didn't even know that. Yeah. And then uh, when we first moved uh, into this place, I forgot what happened. Something tipped me off that all the neighbors were going to come after me with pitchforks and like I remember that you had to board everything up and all that I stuff I went to Home Depot I boarded everything up and it turned out it was a false alarm like the neighbors wanted to give me like a welcome basket or something like that yeah but, but anyway all, all that aside um, I you know I've been in business a long time thank you Aiden's dad for raising such a good son he also raises me winking face what does that mean? I don't know. I'm going to mute the TTS, but that's going to be later on, like, where we can put on Texas speech so people can donate money oh. and oh. talk. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, no, yeah, I think it's just, it's crazy, like, to see, like, how everything planned out. Like you said, I, I really didn't know I was going to make it, and I, I made videos of myself, and I explained it, and I broke it down to you, kind of how I was going to make it, but the wild thing to me is just, like, you were the one person who just, like, okay, let's, my dad, uh, at that time, you know, like i remember you had to try like different credit cards yeah that was that right when you were about to take off is when i hit a real rough patch with in his life yeah I, I was in between jobs and i remember there was this new high-speed internet that came to our town that you wanted to try it and it was like they wanted you to pay 600 dollars up front but, let, but let's but let's go back for a little bit sure do you remember like literally in eighth ninth grade i wanted to stream do you remember that or no of course the internet was just too bad like i wanted to stream as a freshman in high school yes and um i couldn't do it because the internet so senior year comes along the high speed internet, you're obviously your pockets are hurting right now because you're going in and out of jobs. You tried three different cards, they all declined until like last one finally worked. We got approved. We got the internet like a month like later. And then I just took it so seriously. I literally was like, All right, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You know, I I got a I got a job and I got like some other equipment and stuff and you just helped me pay for the internet and then I just really took over. Like I I really yeah, I remember like, that, and you were excited. I think your upload speed was what one point two. Yeah, but that was just enough, right? Right, the one point two upload speed was just enough to do it. I found a way to do it with shitty quality, and then we slowly upgraded it, and then it slowly upgraded, and then I could make decent content. Then I'd pull twelve hour streams, and we would constantly oh. have internet problems and just back and forth, and we would lose pieces and all this crazy stuff. And power would go out. Oh yeah, the place we were at just powers would go out. Like the internet would just have issues. We'd have to get an internet guy over all the time. I have like six different modems. I had to keep swapping out. Um, the point is, there's no excuse you guys can make when you're coming up. I was, I had one gigabyte of uploads, one megabyte of upload speed, uh, MGS of upload speed, and I still made it happen. You know, there's a way to do it. But um, I was so dedicated back then, and um, it was crazy. Like you just watched me do it. Remember, remember, there was a time where I drove you three and a half hours to Los Angeles. Right? Yes. We got the game that you needed to get. And we drove back. We got a soda, and we drove three and a half hours, wow. eight hours in the car. No dad would do that. Just uh, just so you could have that game early, right? Like two days early. Yeah, so I, he got me 2K15 early, I remember. NBA 2K15 early, a few days early, because we LA obviously gets copies first. You know, we were in a town that's obviously not LA, a few hours away. You literally did that. Three-hour drive back and forth. Right. Just to get me my game. I right. was drinking the same Kool Aid you were drinking. I mean, I was, you know, you had me believing, and uh, so I was, I was behind you 100. percent But I, I, I also have to admit, I never dreamt that you'd reach this level this fast. Yeah, it was quick. It was really fast, and um, you know, it's just, it's crazy to me, like how, how fucking, like quick it was. Yeah, literally, how quick it is. And now I was just in high school two years ago. Yeah, it seems like yesterday I was asking if you do, you got all your homework done. You know? I know that's kind of like so so fast. That's crazy, but it just I don't know. Like it's just I don't know. It's so now you're like Superman, right? So you're gonna use your powers for good, evil, fun, bad. You know, I, I know you're gonna use your powers for good. I know that. No, hundred percent. I think that uh, it comes with a lot, though. There's a lot of responsibility now. There's a lot of people's lives that obviously are intact with mine. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of negativity now. Like, I'm not used to a lot of hate. I get a lot of hate now. I get a lot of controversy. People don't all like me like they used to. Mm -hmm. You know, not everyone who watches me likes me. You know, now people hate me and people try to, like, discourage so me. So some stuff. people watch you because they enjoy hating you. I think people watch me because they're so miserable with their lives, right? And they're so jealous. For example, like, people would probably hate on this because they don't even have, 
like a dad who believed who believed in them instead of maybe just like being like damn like look how like you know like appreciative and shit like some dads can be like i guarantee a lot of people in this chat are just so miserable with their lives and you know they just don't know what to do but they take it out on me if that makes sense well have you has any of these miserable lives people ever like turned around and like gone the other direction so that's funny you said that like i've i've one time took taken you know uh i've one time slid in people's dms and i would be like you know um like hey you know why are you saying you know that type of thing to me and they were like oh my god i just want to get a reaction out of you i love you you know um so it's ball busting sometimes it's just 100 percent. and not everybody's miserable like the people that love me and that are always you know just spreading positivity towards my streams and stuff they're 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 good people mm -hmm. you know because they don't they don't have to latch on their pain onto other stuff like that's just how it is I, it's like i don't i'm not looked at as a human being by a lot of people i'm looked at kind of like as like a robot now like i'm looked at as somebody Unreal. when he's not streaming let's yell at him let's throw fucking uh tomatoes at him and stuff and uh all this stuff you know but my, my my biggest uh thing is is i'm not just a streamer at this point i want to i want to find a way to kind of pave a wave and get into other industries and eventually acting I, you already know i want to get into boxing just all sorts of stuff so. i have this vision of you and i don't know if i'm wrong or right if it's wishful thinking that you also can pave the way for other people that have talent to you know get on the same path and you save them years in time to get on that path 100 percent. and it just all it takes is there's so many people out there with talent for example um i really want you to start streaming and doing your stuff i feel like you'd be a great streamer like like just like is that an earthquake or is that your foot it's my foot tapping because i'm excited oh <laughs> <laughs> but um you know what i mean like i just i think there's a way to find unrecognizable talent like you know i want to find a way to do that and just put people on and help people as much as i possibly can I think that I've changed a lot of people's lives and I just want to continue to do that. And uh, it's just awesome when, you know, when people have this power, a lot of people do bad things with it, but I'm the one that, you know, I want to do nothing but good things with my, 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 uh, my brand and stuff, so. Yeah, I think it'll pick up momentum. I think the more people that you're able to bring into the limelight and to launch their own careers, I think the more momentum it'll pick. It's like a snowball going down a hill. And, and you know what I'm talking about? When you roll a snowball down a hill, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. 100%. Yeah, before before you know, you have a giant wake. And, like, like these are, this is your army almost. It's know? like an army. It's like an army. But but why, how come everybody who watches me doesn't like me? That's the only thing that trips me out still. Why do you think? Um, well, it's a combination. There's never one black and white answer for any specific question. You know, there's always... It's always a mixture. So... I, I, I've got to say, it could be a little bit of envy. Jealousy? Yes, could be a little envy, could be a little jealousy, could be, like you said before, people just trying to have fun and break your balls and don't really hate you. Um, and then it could be some people just thrive on negativity. I, mean, I, just, I just sometimes wish I was kind of like, I hate saying this because it sounds so ungrateful, but sometimes I wish I was kind of like smaller so I could appreciate my come up more. Like I didn't appreciate me coming up more. I was so sophisticated on numbers and growth when I was just really like a year ago having so fun in that little apartment playing my video game. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like that was everything to me. I think I know what you're talking about. Um, when I had a big company at one time and I had 50 employees and things were going along great and five years passed, I lost all my employees, all my partners, <clears throat> and I was the only one there. And every day I came into work considering I was just gonna shut the office down, but I stuck it out and stuck it out and I filled it from zero back up to a big company again and I enjoyed rebuilding so you could constantly be rebuilding other things and you know yeah so be that small fish in the big pond not always the big fish in the little pond yeah you have a lot of great ideas so you know I, I, I think that's a way to have that best of both worlds I think. you're right you're right you know and it's like a shark you got to keep swimming or you die so um, what would you say is the next big challenge for you out there where you would feel like you're starting from you know scratch again you know it's crazy i think boxing is okay i think just getting into like reworking my my physique my body you know getting into healthy because health is number one you know so i think just even whether it's boxing or not whether it's boxing shit is real or not me just getting my body right in general mm -hmm. it's just like that right there is just going to make me healthier and more happy you know just waking up knowing i'm you know i have muscles and i have a cardio and i'm in mm -hmm. shape and stuff so there's a lot to be said, I don't know if you, any of your people read any Eastern philosophy teachings, but there's three centers in your body. There's your intellect, 
there's your emotional, and there's your physical. And if all three are doing, are doing work at one time, that's how you really, you know, you get to, get to feel everything. Right. So it's mental, you know, emotional, and physical. And you apply all three with boxing would be perfect. But another thing is that is like, like now it's, I, I like the way you're saying, I like that. But, I, but now I'm so mentally drained mm-hmm. because I'm constantly like, like my life, it's not like I'm, I'm not living my life for me anymore. I'm like, I'm like living my life for other people, like completely. I'm yeah. so drained and I'm so like, like I'm so drained. Well, what like I don't even talk you? to you every day. I'd love to talk to you every day. I'd love to be able to talk to mom, call her up. I'd love to be able to talk to my aunts, grandmothers, all that stuff. But I, I'm so mentally out of it now, you know, um, with everything going on that like I want to just focus and I don't know. Because you're not, I've been giving you this advice since day one. You have to recharge your batteries. You have to find your own cathedral. You have to find a place where you go, where you can recharge yourself. This way, you know, when you get back into the streaming, whether it's the next day or two days later, you're fresh. Yeah. And your mind has had a chance to meditate and, and just decompress. So you don't do that. No, I don't. You, you're, you're burning the candle at both ends. Like, you're this is a candle. You're burning it here, here, and you're lighting the candle in the middle. Right. And it, it's just going to burn out instantly. Hey dad, what do you uh, what do you say to uh, kids that want to follow their dreams and passion, but they're maybe their their parents aren't like you, where you're so like believing in the beginning and stuff. Persistence, um, sincerity. I mean, this is what I read from you. These are the vibes that you gave me. That there wasn't that there was going to be no stopping you. So it's like, why should I make your life harder? You know, be a drag when I knew there was no stopping you. So I saw the passion. So definitely passion and devotion. Um, there's nothing, to me anyway, there's nothing more wonderful um, in business and in life than meeting people that are extremely devoted to whatever it is they're devoted to. Whether it's religion, whether it's reading, whether it's streaming, whatever it is, there's nothing like devotion. Nothing can break through devotion. Right. So it's for these young people that are having difficulties with, with their teachers or with their parents, not saying, not, not, not saying this is an open path for you, they just got to make it so clear that there's nothing that's going to stop them so they could either join you and help you or just get the hell out of my way kind of an attitude but i realize when you're dealing with younger people with parents they have to be respectful to their parents so find a way to be firm but respectful but so devoted like aiden i've never met a more devoted man than you to 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 your business to your streaming so devoted it didn't matter if there was if the roof flew off the house and there was no electricity you know, you would pedal a bicycle and hook it up to the wires and make that generate the electricity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how the vote. So definitely, number one is devotion and sincerity, and 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 results um, to be able to show tangible results because a journey of a thousand miles starts with one small step. So you put enough small little steps together, and eventually you'll you know you'll 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 definitely get somewhere. So they've got to be able to not only be devoted but to be able to demonstrate that they are making headway. What like they're that. doing. So you so you think that measurably. You genuinely believe that anybody in this chat right now could do it. I believe that a high percentage of the people in this chat that are extremely devoted and, and amped up to do this can. Can find some success. They've got to find their niche. Thing is too, not to be too afraid of how am I gonna find exactly what my niche is, because that all happens naturally. Yeah, so everyone trust, trust the process. Everyone's gonna find their own exactly purpose eventually just comes to you so how come it comes to some people sooner like myself do you think hmm that's a tough question for me to answer why you know happens at different speeds is it just is it just chance or what maybe part of it is luck like when i was highly successful in business at times i never felt like it was all because of me i also felt it was because of timing you know the timing was yeah. right and i met this one person that led me to this that led me to that and before you knew it everything opened up for me and then there were times, no matter how hard I tried, it didn't make a difference. There were no doors were going to open. So timing has a lot to do with everything in life. Got it. Um, but definitely persistence. I mean, I, I can't remember a single day, even when you were sick with fever, that you didn't do something to further. I remember that, yeah. I would be sick and I would still stream and stuff. Remember I wanted to skip my own high school graduation to stream? Yeah, I remember That's that. crazy. I just was so devoted. But you, you made the right decisions. You knew certain times that you had to just put it down oh. you know your mother was going to show me a graduation what are you not going to go up to the graduation? Yeah, yeah 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 graduation too so be respectful too um 
But but let's 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 try to get specific. So could you give me a specific example of a kid out here that has great talent, great potential, but has a specific problem with, you know, a door being shut to him by his parents or like let's just say as a streamer, I know how many of you guys how many of you guys have parents that just you know don't really believe in you? I mean a lot I feel like a lot of you know, I feel like a lot of people, you know, um, they don't. So it's like what I can say is just see like me like a lot of parents just don't believe in it because maybe they were born in a generation where electronics weren't like there's no social media but i'm telling you like this shit like remember how pressured i was to go to college by you know certain people in my yes. life at that time you know who i'm talking oh, about yeah. like it's just like i feel like that's wrong for even teachers to just kind of like press kids about going to college it's a trap and, and not necessarily like, if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer that's perfectly fine but it's like if you're somebody who just wants to be a kid and follow their dreams and follow their craft then I just feel like then you should have a, a you know, um, a say in it. Like, it's your life. You really only live once. So that's how it is. Yeah, and I also remember something else, Aiden, too. You uh, not only were devoted, but you busted your ass waiting tables at that that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so that you could do it with your own two hands. Even when I did have the money, you're like, no, Dad, I want to do this on my own. So you really had a lot of the elements that set yourself up to deserve to have the success that you have now i will i have to admit uh in high school i did used to steal money in your drawer i kind of knew about that i'd stick extra money in there i know i remember that you did used to stick it. i had to i had to i needed some gas money stuff That's when i was going broke but now it paid off you know now you never have to worry about rent ever again um but uh, I uh, I did used to you know steal some that's, money. That's okay. It was my pleasure to be stolen from by you, <laughs> <laughs> and it's coming back in spades. I mean, listen, money's wonderful and it's fun, and at my age, it, it, it's it's wonderful not to have to be waking up at six o'clock in the morning and mapping out my day just so I can make sure all the bills are going to get paid for the month. So I got you for life. It's, uh, you know, you you and mom never have to worry about money ever again, and that I think that's why I think I stress so hard about my life because it's like. I don't make all I don't want to make a bunch of money for me because I could live off of a couple thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't care about that. I want to just make a bunch of money to pay off your guys' house completely. I want to make enough money to put you in the nicest car. It's just like I get more pleasure and I think most people do. I, I know you're the type of person. You get more pleasure out of buying stuff for people you love course, rather than yourself. Course. When I when I got myself uh, that Urus, it was fun for like. Remember, I told you the day after, I was like, "Dad, I shouldn't have gotten this car." Right, I remember. And I was just like, "I shouldn't have gotten it," and it's just like, you know, um, I just know that if I would have gotten you like something like that car or something, you know, a plane or something, I would have felt more happy in my heart. It's well, just like well, look at it this way, though. Unless you actually learn that lesson the way you learned it up front like that, you don't really learn it. And that, as a parent, it's a frustrating thing because, you know, I've lived a lot of extra years than you have. Yeah. And I wish I could just give you the wisdom. But unfortunately, you're going to have to make certain mistakes yourself so that you feel it emotionally. So that, you know, you're very certain about how you want to be a man and move forward in life. So there's no mistakes. That was a good thing that you did um, to do that. Even though Yeah, you but now I learned. Now all I want to do is just stack money and just take care of you guys, you know. That's, that's all I care about. I don't care about anything else. That's all I care about. I mean, obviously, Chad, I care about you guys, but it's like, you know, when it um besides besides my Twitch, besides you know, my 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 community, it's like this is all I have besides you, you know, my family and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't know. Well, this is a great experiment in life. I don't know if you know this, but from you know, I mean, I was around in the '60s, back in the '60s. People wanted to form utopias where people all live together and everybody share all the expenses. And I know about that. You, but, it, but it doesn't work. It's everything, utopia always turns into dystopia, dystopia every single time. Well, that's what I think. I feel like that's what the world, I think, I feel like the world is dystopia. Mm -hmm. The world is just like a bunch of, obviously, Pammy too, Chad. Yes, yes. I feel like the world is dystopia, meaning everybody is suffering. I feel like everybody's sad and hurting inside. Everybody's in emotional pain in some way. And we all just use a bunch of fixes. For example, my streaming and youtube and just everything i do is my fix and uh you know i feel like everybody ha their purpose is their fix i feel like you know being brought into this life you're kind of just like you're kind of just like brought into like suffering yeah well, and that sounds true. really negative and life no. is great life is what you make it, 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 it to be able to recognize that but yet still enjoy life that's the keys to the kingdom of life to be able to recognize this is a tough world life is very very tough yeah recognize it 
Okay, now that you're aware of it, don't harp on it, don't dwell on it, recognize it, and yet find a way to enjoy life. And I think you have, um, and you have so many opportunities to give in this world and to make a big difference. So you're very lucky in that way. There's a million different ways you can ch change lives. Yeah. I mean, think about when you've been at your most desperate moment, what you would have given for somebody like yourself to come along and say, hey, I got you. That's crazy, yeah. Right? So you get to be that for a lot of people, not, not out of ego but out of something much bigger and more wonderful than you go. Yeah, so you know those laptops I just got? Yeah. So it's cool. I, uh, there's like this, I, I do this thing, it's a Discord, it's like a little, it's like a little group thingy I have with people. And, uh, hold on a second, are we dropping frames here? Think we're live. Hold on, I wanna make sure it's going. Yo, mods, take it off emote only. You can put it on sub only, just no emote only. I wanna see something real quick. Uh, 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 uh. Is it laggy? I don't know if it is. You can hardwire it. Uh, let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so what I was saying was um, those laptops, there's like a, a kid who I saw who's in a wheelchair and he's... Uh, mentally i mean not mentally you just physically handicapped like i'm gonna give one of those laptops then just like me being that kid i'm like i don't even know you know he wants to be a streamer and it's just like it's crazy like i'm actually going to change this kid's life by giving him a powerful laptop for free you know it's just changing his life and mm -hmm. that's to me it's that's not a lot for me you know right. that's easy it's for me to do for you. it's small and easy for me to do but for that kid that's life-changing for him Right. Isn't that crazy that I can I can give somebody something that can change their life? Of course, the tool. But it's so small for me. So why don't more people with millions and billions of dollars do that? How come they don't do that? Because they, I'm not as rich as them and I want to do that stuff. They start off oftentimes wanting to do it because most people are good deep down inside. They start off wanting to, but then they, they lose their way. Every day you wake up and you've got to remember the path that you want to be on. You know how easy it is to get lost from, you know the picture that, that you have in your mind today you wake up tomorrow and something hits you somebody gets sick or something goes wrong and before you know it you're off course um, but it's like you have a motherfucker like and, and look nobody's entitled to give away their own money but it's like you have somebody that's like um i don't know i don't want to say specific people but billionaires right, right. millionaires billion 500 million dollars 600 million dollars in assets whatever they're, they're worth but they won't even like help change lives right right so it's just like, I don't know, that just, that doesn't make really well, make sense. I mean, there's so many different philosophies on that too. The, the, the richer people are, the more afraid they are of becoming poor. So that those are the most stingy people. Some of the most wealthy people in the world I've gone out to like dinner or lunch with, and they're splitting that tab down That's the crazy. And... I'm the exact opposite. I'll pay for my friend's bill. I'll always pay for, like, I'll always help you. I'll send you money whenever you want. I'll just send anybody money that never needs. Like, I'm so, I'm the opposite. I don't even think, I don't even double ask. Well, I'm not weird with money at all. But some people just really treat money like it's their. It's blood. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I, 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 I know people in my life who have come from extraordinarily wealthy families and their parents pass and they're left hundreds of millions of dollars and brothers and sisters fight and you know never speak to each other again over a refrigerator you know i wanted to have the refrigerator and yeah and, and that's it and, and, and that's how sick the human condition can actually be sometimes people get lost in, in this it's crazy, so crazy it's crazy because that's not what matters there's millionaires billionaires with holes in their hearts meaning they're unfulfilled and they're miserable because they don't have a true family or a true love or you know that's just how it is well Aiden, you once told me i think it was you who told me that 90 percent of people that win the lottery a year later wish they never won the lottery damn they, yeah. there's, there's a documentary I, I watched after you told me that on hbo dad i saw like five people say you should write a book i've been writing a book i started writing a book yeah oh, wow I, I i i would like to really start get diving into it deeper um but yeah, but the reason for that is, is because money, the way I look at money, money is like a scalpel, okay? In a, doc, in a doctor's hand, a scalpel is a tool that can save lives. In a lunatic's hand, it's a weapon that can, that can kill somebody. Holy shit, yeah, you're so, right. So, so, you know, I, I think wow. money in the right hands is a beautiful thing. And I think, you know, well, you know how I feel about you. And I think you're doing all the right things with it. But again, you're not a gazillionaire. If you could make everybody 
wealthy, you would. But it's no. not all about the Benjamins, is it? It's about fulfillment. But let me let me ask you. Uh, let me ask you another question. I mean, I want to move on to something a little bit different. Let's go. Um, people don't treat me the same. My own family doesn't. I've yeah, I've talked to you about that. Family members don't treat me the same. People always want something from me. They never just want to hang out with me. You are one of the only like five people who actually treat me like Aiden. Like you don't treat me like Aiden Ross. You just treat me like myself. And I just I don't know. I I really appreciate that because a lot of people don't even treat me like I'm human. Uh, yeah, it's it's really horrible sometimes. I mean, I I, uh, I love everybody, you know, but it's just you're the only person who just like one of the only people who just will never like like if I do something stupid, you're not gonna be like, oh oh it's okay. Like you're gonna be like you're gonna call me bullshit. Like <laughs> you'd be like, no, that was stupid as fuck. I don't care like about who you are, where you at. You're like you're gonna call me out. Like I've had I've done something to somebody and like I wanted to get a reaction out of them where they're like, and you can't fucking do that. But the purpose like, oh do it, it's okay. Like. It's just crazy that like you're one of the only people and family is treating me differently now, but you're one of the only people who just treat me like myself. Because I can't live any other way and neither can you. Like I am not interested in superficial relationships, especially with my own son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not interested. I'd rather you go back to ground zero and let me go out there and bust my ass to support the family, but you know, and, and maintain our, our, our real relationship than have all the money in the world and have a fake relationship. It's just not worth it. Life is too short. Um, and you'll notice this. Now that you have money to spend on basically whatever you want, that's not making you any happier, right? No, it doesn't. It's fun. It's fun. That's, it's fun and, 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 you know, it's like, you, like I'm going to let you finish. It's fun, but it's just like at the same time, more money, there is a lot of problems. Like it's more, it, it developed more problems in my life. And I think it's because I let it though. I'm so nice to people. I'm so giving. I'm so generous that people... You give them one inch, they, inch, take, a they take a whole mile, yeah. Yeah. Well, that is human nature. So observe, this is how people are. And we're no different, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not perfect, you know? I've, I've made mistakes too. Um, I'm sure I've been guilty of that too. I, I, I've, now that I've gotten a little bit older and I have wisdom on my side a little bit, um, I, don't, I, don't, I couldn't see myself being that way. Like, I would rather be taken advantage of 20 times over than take advantage of one person yeah. in his lifetime. It's crazy. It's just not worth it. And it is fun to, to change people's lives. I, I remember um, when my mother was really hurting and my father stopped supporting her. One Christmas, I went, I snuck over to her apartment and I took a thousand, I took uh, 20 $100 bills and I clipped them all to her Christmas tree. And then I left and I went back to my office and she called me and she just like, screamed and freaked out that's crazy and, and, and she's like i can't accept this and she was crying i'm like ma you know how easy it is to be there for somebody financially when you have it versus being there for them emotionally you know so please don't make a big deal out of it you know it's just damn it's only money it's only money and and the beautiful thing about money is you could always go out and make more of it um but time you can never get get that back, back. you can't no, you can't get that back you can't so I'm glad you're recognizing some of these important lessons in life. So what do you think you could do? But I'm 20 and I feel so old. I just feel like, okay, you know in Grand Theft Auto, yeah. when you do a cheat code and you get all the money? Yeah, yeah. And I, and I don't want to sound like I'm ungrateful, but I'm, telling, like, I'm trying to teach people that money is not everything. But like when you do the Grand Theft Auto money glitch and you get all that money, what do you do? You buy the cars and then you beat the game. Right. So what's left? <laughs> it's called imposter syndrome. You guys can Google it. There are, there are some very, very famous, wealthy people in business. They're billionaires. And they, they actually are humble enough to admit that when they're in meetings, they don't feel like they belong there. Like they feel like they're imposters, that they somehow got lucky and made it and, and, and they just don't feel you know, worthy. It's a very common, uh, it's a very, very common thing, especially when it happens quickly. Um, financially I, I like that someone said money isn't everything when you have money but when you don't have money it's a great point I was gonna say something like that too you and I are having this conversation and to people that are busting their ass just to keep their lights on it's different they're looking at our conversations like well it's easy for you guys to talk that way because you have money and they're 100% right yeah I feel like it's ignorant to not include the other side right like I feel like it's just really ignorant of me to not actually like say hey guys like for anyone that's actually you know living in you know, and yeah, like, you know, just kind of like re having like a really hard knock, li hard knock life, you know, it's ignorant to not say that you have a completely different um, definition of life. Of and course. I and I guarantee they would die to be 
Of you course. know, they would kill to be in my position. Of course. You know? But remember, like the saying goes, um, give a man a fish, he eats for a night. Teach a man to fish, and he'll eat for a lifetime. So you have a venue through streaming for people that are passionate about it, for you to teach them and help them and bring them along so that they can have what's possible and so they can take care of their families. They, I'm sure 99% of these people want to take care of their dads and their moms and yeah, their families. Yeah, 100%. So you're gonna, you have a way to, to help them do that. And it'd be great if you could expand that in any way that you can. So that not only is your audience, well not audience, what do, you, what do they call your audience? Your yeah, I okay. just don't call them fans. Oh, they don't call them fans. Okay. Yeah. So not, they don't just have like a, you know, a one in a million chance of, of finding success. They have a real probability, of, a high probability of finding success through your methods and, and through helping them. Right. Like this one kid that you said is handicapped and you're giving him a computer. What would be the next step? If he has some funny shtick he's doing, could you like, you know, three times a week, just like visit him on your stream and give him 30 seconds of airtime? Right, like, right. And that'll give him his, that's why I love the E-Dates. Remember those? Yeah. I love them. And I feel like um, it was perfect because if somebody had, whoever's coming in, I'm, I'm streaming. Oh, hi. What's up? Yeah, I'm live. So I feel like. Uh, Cause I, I'm live on Instagram and they told me to flash your stream. No, we're we're in the middle of a deep but, conversation. I want to talk. About. I'll text you when we're not so deep in. Okay, how about text me after so we can do the fireworks? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. For my right. birthday. Thank you. All right. I didn't know you. Were, I didn't know you were like that. Oh yeah, we're live. Hey, you did. You know I was streaming. I know. Yeah. So why you, why are you lying? I wanted to come in. All right. In, so nice try. Thank you. I love hold on, you. Hold on. I'm yeah. losing our train of thought. Sorry. I love you. Okay, so I forgot what I was saying. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about how, like, if you could give that young man, like, 30 seconds. Oh, thank you. Okay, so that's why I love the e dates, right? It gave kids a chance to just show, like, how entertaining they are. And my community made them characters in, like, a show. Uh huh. Like, for example, Pariit. By the way, guys, Pariit got unbanned finally. You remember Pariit. Yeah, you used to How watch. How did he get banned? He got banned for accidentally, like somebody showed something. But oh. you know, it's it's good now. You know, he's back. He's good. Um, and then you have people like Runs, and you have people like, you know, Kafum. Yeah, yeah. You got you know just characters. So it's just awesome. Like Ferb, you remember Ferb and sure. all of them. So I love that, and I want to find a way to do that again mm -hmm. in a different kind of way. Like now that I'm bigger and I have more opportunities to give out. How about I do something where I literally have fly these kids out and have them come to me on my stream or something like that. Like, like how about a stream where I get a sponsorship to sponsor a Tesla and I have these kids put a hand on the car. Oh, whatever, let's go. And whoever let's go keeps that car. Yeah. I literally fly these kids out and they work their ass off to try to get a car for their parents. Wow. You know what I mean? Something cool like that. that I want to do cool, cool shit like that. Like, yes. you know, like, and you know, you know, Mr. Beast is, yeah? Yeah, I know it is now. I learned today. Yeah, yeah. So Mr. Beast, that's that's inspiration from him. Like, I love that guy because he is such a good person. Like, he's. But why not do it live? Like, chat. I'd be probably one of the first people to do it live, like on a Twitch note. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like inspiration from Mr. Beast. You know, taking that. You know, um, that that YouTube uh, inspiration and applying it to live. And it's just like it's so cool. I, I like that. I like I like doing stuff that yes. just benefits people, you know. And variations of that too. Like your group, the guys you just mentioned. I don't know. Give them sixty seconds each. Like I don't know. You have a stream where okay, it's now time to do this, and give eight of those guys sixty seconds to come on and be funny for sixty seconds, or to, like a talent show, yeah, or something like or that. A roast or a talent show or something. But always keep it fresh. Always keep it new. Always keep it moving, and uh, always make it so that there's opportunities there for the unknown to become known. I like that. And to get seeded. Because that's what these people are, they're like planting seeds. And you have no problem sharing the stage with these people. No problem at all, because everybody can eat. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody can, can eat. eat. You know, there's no such thing as getting greedy. You told me this one story, I love this story. I, I literally think about it all the time. Really? It's a story where uh, you're probably gonna, I want you to explain it once you kinda know. It's like the story where there's a bunch of people that are starving and then they're all at a dinner table. Or, oh, what is it? You told me this story when I was really young and I always think about it. It's a, a story where there's a bunch of people at a dinner table and everybody's eating their food really fast. And this one, they're looking for a king in the town. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you, can you tell the story from the, from the top? I can remember it, okay. Um, it may not hit as hard as when I originally told it because I vaguely remember it, but 
Somewhere in India, there was a, uh, a very wealthy king, and he was looking for a princess or a queen or something like that. So he had, he had uh, 20 or 30 of the most beautiful um, you know, royalty, uh, descendants of royalty, come and spend the night at, the, at, the, at, at his castle. And he was looking for the right one. And there were all different tables set up and they were able to go to whatever table they want, take whatever food they want, take whatever jewels they want. And so most of them, 99% of them, you know, were stuffing diamond necklaces in their pockets and right. things like that. They were all just taking everything. They were all just taking. And then there was this one beautiful, very you know, reserved, calm, sweet, young princess who just sat there and didn't do, do, do anything, didn't take anything, didn't, you know, just, just kind of sat there very quietly. And he came over to her and said something to her like, well, how come you're not, you know, everybody was invited here to take advantage of the night and whatever they felt was beautiful was to, you know, to take it for themselves. And, and basically what she had said was, well, there's really nothing that I want that's material. There's nothing here that, I'm, that, I, that, that I want. There's nothing here that appeals to me. She, she was really looking for love and not material things. So she really, really stood out because the majority of the people you know just wanted to they figured they weren't going to get chosen anyway and so they had that kind of an attitude to just take 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 right whereas this person was really mesmerized and deeply thinking about what she really wanted which was to find love right and, and it's, that's just about it stands out it really stands out from the reds rest it's not hard to spot nah and everyone's everyone's talking about um you know pammy which is which is funny you say that because it's like you know i one time won something huge on gambling like one hundred fifty thousand wow. dollars, and what's someone's reaction going to be when I, yo, I won one hundred fifty k? Yeah, do you, I, I have twenty of it, you know. So yeah. Pammy walks in, she's like, "Okay, that's cool." Like, that just shows like she doesn't give a fuck. Like, and 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 that's what it is. It's like when it comes down to it, like, I want people to understand that, um, you know, what that story is talking about is like, don't get caught up in the riches and all that materialistic stuff because it's just. You know, there's there's really nothing there. There's nothing there. It's emptiness. Yeah. It's, the glitter of the gold is just a distraction. Yeah. And again, we're having a conversation. Two people that are not hurting for money. Um, so that's why. That's that's the. That's why I wish we had somebody in here, who is like like dead broke. Almost. Well, but but we've been there before. I ha I remember that. I've been wealthy and I've been broke maybe five times in my life. Do you remember that one time you were so broke? We had this little trailer home. People think that I come from money. I really, I do, We've but I do We have money. We have, but it's gone, it's gone away. So you remember we were in this little trailer home, I think like a two bedroom. Oh, it was like a dollhouse. It was a $600 a, a month rent. Yes. By the way, it's one of my favorite houses. Oh, it was all, we had the best memories. Yes. We had the best memories. Yes. So you're supposed to dab me up like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Dad, do you well, remember you bought like the $600 car and I used to have to kick it to get to school in the morning to start it, was it up? It so funny. This car wouldn't start. It was a $500 car because my car blew up. It was all I could afford was a $500 car. And often in the morning, we'd get in the car and I'd just be praying it would start so I could get him to school. <laughs> and finally, we figured out if you kicked underneath the dashboard, somehow the wires <laughs> would fix and it would start up. So we, I'd be half asleep drinking my coffee. I'd go to start and it wouldn't start. And his foot would just automatically kick. And then it would start. And we wouldn't even look at each other. It became so kind. I know. We just knew. We just knew. We were just like, All right. Quick. It's time to get to school. I remember, I remember I would, you would wake me up like five minutes before I'd have to even go to get, I would wake up, put clothes on, go under that little heater thermos thingy. Yes. You'd make me breakfast and we would just go to school. I'd have to kick the car. That was hilarious. Crazy. But it's just like times like that were so good. Yes. That's why like like I look back and obviously that's called nostalgia, right? Yes. You nostalgia don't, is when you only really remember the good. The good. Yeah, you know, was bad. so there's bad, of yeah. course. But all I remember is I used to come home from school every day, play video games. You didn't give a fuck. You let me do my thing. I do remember one time though, I played so much video games. You had me quit for like six months to get an iPod or something like that. Do you remember that? Yeah, vaguely, I don't know if it was six whole months. It was like three months. Yeah. You just wanted me to take a break because I was going too crazy. But yeah, you were really getting too nuts with it. You would be up at five, six o'clock in the morning. And I was like ten, yeah. playing the Call of Duty Black Ops One. You, I, you'd, how, you'd buy me all the map packs and stuff. I was crazy. It's just so crazy. Like I've been playing video games my entire life. I was I born into so it. much shit from people in the family. They're like, "You're ruining this kid. <laughs> How could you let him do this?" And you know, uh, oh, 
the shit I used to take from family members and people that thought I was I was abusing. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. And I'm like, listen, he's passionate about it. Look at this big smile on his face. <laughs> how, could you, how could that be wrong, you know? Yeah, exactly. Damn. I, like, I really, you know, I, and I'm just saying this, Dad, you are really one of a kind. You're my best friend and not just that. Like, you're, 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 you're a dad for probably people in this chat right now. People like, are, that some people don't even have dads. And it's just like, I appreciate you. I love you. I love you too, so. And I don't want to cry right now, but. Yeah, that's okay. Um. Just know, like you're you're really that guy. Like, um, I wouldn't be where I'm at without you. And uh, well, I love you so much that when you don't call me and two weeks go by, I'm actually happy. But I hate that. But I I'm hate- happy because I'm saying to myself, all right, he doesn't need anything. He must be having fun because he's not thinking of me, which is okay. And when you really love somebody, really all you want for them is what they want for themselves. So, yeah, I miss you a little bit. But, you know, I think about you. I'll look at your picture and I'll be like, he must be doing great. And then, and then eventually <laughs> you call me up. And this was like the greatest birthday I've had in so long that you not only did you come to the house, but like you spent real time with me and you invited me into your, into your chat. I didn't, I didn't even want them telling you that I was going to come. That's why I wasn't texting you. Like, I didn't text you happy birthday. Like, I just wanted you to like not think I was coming. You knew I was coming though, right? I knew there was no stopping you from coming. <laughs> I had to come. That's why I stayed the extra day. All my roommates went home back to LA already, but uh, you know, it's just it's crazy. It's it's just really take, crazy. Take, you take your time a little bit though, Wade, and take a deep breath. Take a step back out of the picture a little bit and find something that you and Pammy can do that's away from this. Not, I mean, I know this is your your life and they depend on you, but I I know they want you to recharge, even if it's one day a week, one and a half days a week, sometimes two days a week, where you're just doing something for you too. No electronics. Yeah. Whatever it is, because when you do come back, you're gonna be ten times the guy you were yeah. if you didn't go away, and you need that for your health. I think I think I'm, this June has just been the most June and May have been my most mentally drained months. Just drained. You're right. I gotta find a pace. It's not a it's not a it's not a sprint. It's a marathon, right? So it's like yes. I'm in this I'm in this 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 social media shit for a long time. I gotta find my pace. I gotta find my rhythm, and I gotta. I'm just so new to it. You like it happens so fast. It happens so fast. Like, it's so fast. It's, like, actually, like, to the point where it's overwhelming. And it's, like, it really makes you kind of, like, it's scary. It's scary. It really is. It shows you what's possible. But I like what you just said. Slow and steady wins the race. There's, there's, there's an old story, the tortoise and the hare. You know, like, the, the tortoise goes very slowly but nice and steady. Yeah. And the hare speeds along and then, like, rests and chills out and parties. But that hare, you know, that, that, that tortoise will always win. Slow and steady wins the race. And that's some advice that you'd want to give your people. Never give up. Slow and steady wins the race. You know, you know when it's time to fucking add fuel to the fire and when it's not. Yeah. But Aiden, t- you got to take care of yourself so you can take care of your people. And I'm hearing that message from you. That you're getting burnt. And, you know, and Pammy seems to be wonderful. I got to know her a little bit. Yeah, she's awesome. She's awesome. You're very lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah I am. But, uh, but, but back onto what I was saying is, is uh, you know, I just... Again, I think that a lot of people wish that you were their dad right now. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say to that other than I'd be happy to help anybody in any way that I can. That's why I think you should start this up too. Even if you went live an hour a day and you answer people's questions and stuff. I'm happy to do it. I'd love to do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yes. people, people, people actually really like you a lot. I think that, uh, I'm glad I have something to offer them, really. Yeah, I think that if you guys, if you were to start streaming, who would watch, bro? I, like, I know everyone's spamming, do it, do it, do it. Because, like, here's the thing. People would not only watch you, but it's like they would come to you and you'd be, like, their dad. and You'd be, like, a dad figure to Happy them. to be, yes. Like, that's, like, something that is – and that's that's another thing that's, like, another purpose for you because I know you want to help people. That's all you've done your whole life. So, like, you can really help these kids' lives and stuff. Love so. to. Love to. And, and, and family is everything. And I know not everybody is lucky enough to have both parents or – some people don't even have one parent, you know? Yeah. But, but, but there's always somebody that cares about them. And um, there's, there's... Sorry, like, I just saw something sick uh, in the comments. There's just, there's just always a way to make it work, so... Um, you gotta have a podcast one day. What do you think about that? What if me and you did a podcast? Love to. That'd be crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing my own project with, uh, you know, Zia's and Bilu. But after that, when, when that's all done, let's do it. Fine. 
But don't just say that. Don't get my hopes up. Well, it's you hear it. You heard it here. Because uh, I'd love to do something like that with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I would love it. You know, um, it's crazy. I don't want to end off on a serious note. I want to do some fun stuff. Right. Let's do some Texas speech. We can call it. Uh, I'm sure. going to turn it on. You guys can donate $10. You can just talk about a message that pops up. Uh, let's see here. I turned it on. If it's anything crazy, I have to skip it, though, so. Yeah, let's see what some of these haters want to say to me. <laughs> we can handle them between the two of us. Oh, I think the stream died. We lost everybody? I think so. No, the stream's dying, because, like... I shouldn't have went wire. I shouldn't have went wireless. Oh, where's that plug? It's all good. It's all good. I think it's bad. How do you manage to stay grounded throughout life? Question for both of y'all. Hold on a second. Is it back on? No, no, no. It's back on. Great, back on. Dad. Great connection okay, cool. between you two. Completely blown away seeing this. I was kicked out of my house at 22 playing a game semi-pro and lived in my car. Wow. I don't know what happened to the rest of it, but that's crazy. Okay, well, that was a good question. How does one stay grounded through the vicissitudes of life? Um, well, for me, it's just knowing what's the most important thing in the world to me, and that's my family and loving my family and just keeping focused on that. And a lot of stuff's out of my control. Papa Ross Aiden has been an inspiration for the past year, and I've been tapped in with the YouTube life since I was a kid. 12. I am 21, and it's a big dream, and for you to... Was Papa Ross a stoner back in his day? He used to smoke, yeah. I smoked a lot of weed from age 16 to 18. And That's then, like me. And then when I got to work at 18, you I, stopped. I stopped. Did her dad expose you wear dresses to Pammy? <laughs> some of these you gotta, you know. I, well, because I once said something like that, which I was kind of kidding around. Hey, Aiden, I love your baseball caps, especially the Saints one. Where do you get them? I don't, I, that was given to me, actually. That was given to me, that hat. <laughs> your dad looks like a nonce. Exactly. I don't even know. No, it's Nazi? <laughs> no. <laughs> a dunce? What? Oh, a stoner, maybe. Yeah, no. no I don't like to do that. I don't like to, to, to SSB org announcement soon. Soon. And also W Dad. Thank you. W Dad means good dad. I know that much. Does your dad have Instagram? You need to make one. Much love to y'all. You should make one. All right, I'll make one. Make one tonight. Fine, you got it. Okay. I'll make an Instagram tonight. Note to self, make Instagram tonight. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'm psyched that you're going to start getting your muscles big. So you yes, like kick. Yo, Aiden, I'm a songwriter, and I have a billboard hit for you, Ong. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to get him right, I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> I'd love that. Boy, would I love it. <laughs> uh, work for free. I'm a I don't need any assistance right now, but, you know, if I need something, then I'd obviously, you know, let you guys know. Um, I left you hanging. Were you trying to give me a handshake? I think I was trying to... Aiden, if you want to change a life tonight, it'll drop everything to come work for you and help out in any see, way. I, wish I, I don't want to seem like a burden, but pants. check your Twitter DM I sent you. Oh, hashtag so you. Okay, want to work for me. We need to grow Man, how do you thing. deal with being up and down in business? I've been dealing with that with TGE family business, and sometimes you want to just give up. Of course. Oh, so many times. The best things in life are free. Always remember that. That's true. That's true. So my mother told me right before she died, she said, happiness is found in the little moments you spend with your family. Who do her kids look like the most, you or her wife? I would love to see you like one v one mo buckets in the so. ring. Mm. Happy birthday, Papa Ross. Thanks. I've been working with your son for over a year, and you raised an amazing son. This is my brother is for salary. life now, and I have worked for so many people. Can you tell what? us the story of Aiden's first time at the hotel, also when you caught him? <laughs> I don't know if this is the right Your time. dad is awesome. My dad died 10 years ago weird. as of this month, and your dad reminds me of mine. It was great having him on the tonight. Definitely. Much love to you both. You gotta make your own stuff. Thank you, Aiden. It's me, Lorix, our fellow midget friend who you promised a That's PC. That's the guy. That's I really him. appreciate you. When I get back to LA, I, I got you, you bro. Discord, I got you. But you haven't replied. That's the guy with the, uh, with the wheel in the wheelchair. W Aiden, W Dad. Good advice from Pops. Thanks for everything you do. You're welcome. Can you please be my dad, cuss? I grew up without a dad. He is an alcoholic. 
I can't be your dad, but I could certainly uh, help you in many ways that a dad could help you. I'd be happy to advise you and be there for you, definitely. Be, be, be an honor to do that. <clears throat> so, uh, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me, uh... You're gonna, you're gonna blow up when you start working out? Oh, my God. You think I, so? I'm gonna start to get a little afraid of you that you can beat me up. Yeah. Nona's not playing it broke. I'm on a Mac, man. I wish I set it up better. I, it was, like, last second, man. I'm sorry, guys. It's so easily fixed. But... You know. Thanks again for the picture at the Floyd fight. We met in the elevator at the one hotel. W Sun. Remember that? See, now I can't stay at that hotel anymore. Just uh, kidding. No, I stayed at the hotel. I told you, they were, I love you guys. People were waiting outside of my hotel like with pictures of me, like wanting me to autograph. It was crazy. That's never happened before. It's crazy. Three hours this kid was waiting. Three hours. So that shit Hey, just... I love your content and love your personality. I own and operate Minecraft servers. How dope would it be if we created the next biggest server together? Be nice to have an independent server. On Aiden, we met twice in Inlet, and I'm really hungry and wrote some hits for you. Hit me on IG, GabexYZ. Hold up. Yo, Aiden, I've been fighting cancer for almost two years Shit. now. I watch almost every night. Thank you for the entertainment. My Insta is Brett underscore Dobbs 14 now. Praying for you, brother. I hope you're okay. What Seriously. Kind of, what kind of cancer do you have, if you don't mind my asking? I have experience with that. Damn, that's... Damn, that's crazy. Prayers in the chat. Seriously. Prayers, definitely. That's crazy. Um. Respect for you, Dad. For real, one thing I go by is the money is never your. It's just your turn with it. Correct. That's very well said. I like that. It is just your turn with it. It is just your turn with it. Fuck cancer. I hate cancer. Yep. Cancer sucks. Um. Aiden, there are, there are going to be ways where you can help a thousand people at once. There are going to be ways. You, how? Well, I, you know what my dream is? Open up an animal sanctuary for rejected animals. You get people that can work there with the animals. Um, eventually you turn that animal sanctuary into a camp for, you know, summer camp for kids. And before you know it, you need a thousand employees to work there. Oh, shit. To pitch You're in right. And to work with all sorts of animals, not just, you know. I want to build, like, maybe a school maybe one day, too. Right. School. I mean, there's just so many opportunities to grow it. And you don't have to use just your own money. You know, you'll put up some money and other people will match it. I'm very good at, you know, um, I could help you with that. Okay. You just got to find out what it is that you exactly want to do because it's nice to help one, two, three, five, ten people, but it'd be nice to be able to help a thousand people. Let's how, do it. How many people are you in your chats usually? Five thousand? Ten thousand? Then what? In, in, in these chats. Like, how many in these streams? Oh, in actual chats? In these, yeah. How many people are you think could be on here right now? Like, oh, that are live? Yes. Yeah. There's 50 to 2,000. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of people. That's, that's two football stadiums full. It's crazy. Of people. Hey guys, it's freezing on our side. I might just have to end it. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I love this stream. This guy right here changed my life. And uh, I love you, Dad. I love you so much. And uh, you're the best person in my life. Seriously, like you're, you're literally the best person in my life. I've never had anybody like you. There's never going to be anybody like you. And uh, I love you for life. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that, you know, um, you and mom just have everything you have, you guys have ever wanted. I have everything I want right now. I'm content. I'm gonna go to when I go to bed tonight. I'm gonna hit the pillow. I'm gonna fall asleep before my head hits the pillow. I'm at peace in my heart, knowing that you're doing well, not just financially, but you're making a difference in lives, and that's it's awesome, man. I'm very proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. So proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I love you so much, boy. I love you too. All right, guys. Hey. Thanks for letting me in on the stream tonight, guys. I had a great time. I'll be out in a second. All right. If you want to watch something or something. Definitely. I love you. I love you, too. All right, guys. I'm going to call it right now. Um, it was short and sweet, like I said. But I want to spend time with my dad. I'm leaving soon, so I want to just hang out with him. The best person I've ever had in my life. The greatest person ever. Thank God I was raised under that man's, uh, you know... Thank God I was raised under him, you know? 
literally my best friend, bro, and uh, I always take care of him, and I always, uh, you know, I don't know, man. He's he's the best, bro. Nobody believed in me except for that man right there. I love you all so much, man. Everyone have a beautiful rest of your night, okay? I would literally host somebody, but I can't. It's so laggy, bro. But I'm going to get off this. I love you all so much, and uh, I hope everyone has a great night. Good night, guys.